Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. First thing I want to say is it's probably going to be a little shocking to everyone, including myself, but I am in a filming mood right now. So I am filming a bunch of videos and there's a possibility that there will be a video every single weekday this week. And if I like it, <clears throat> excuse me, and if I like it and I think I can continue to do it, then I will do that every single week because I can't film on the weekdays. It makes no sense for me to film on the weekdays because I have work, I babysit, I do respite care. I have all of these different things going on that the weekends are the only times that I can actually, you know, get together and film. It's not the whole point of this video. I'm not trying to like ramble or whatever, but the whole point of this video is to review a book that I just finished and I'm actually in love with. This is the second edition of a book that is the opposite of his first edition, um, which his first edition was very happy and had these great stories about how he came to be, but they didn't show the rough patches that he kind of had, and the second edition showed all of the rough patches in a very, I guess, poetic is the right way to say it way, and I loved it. So, the book that I am talking about is Note to Self by Connor Franta. This is his second book that he has ever released. His first one, A Work in Progress, I absolutely loved. I still have it on my shelf. But this book, first off, it's gorgeous. Like, look at this cover. The inside, woo! The inside is this beautiful, like, green um, damask. Is that what this is called? I can't remember what this is called. But it's like this green damask. Oh, it's so pretty. And then throughout it, he has stories of his downtimes. Um, he talks about a breakup. He talks about depression. He talks about him coming out. So there's a lot of things in here. And then there's also like really short pages, um, poems. There's one poem that he actually has on his channel called Frames that I read it. I was like, I recognize this. Why do I recognize this? I went to his channel and listened to it and read along. Like it was... And it was just so nice to be able to, I guess, look at the words and kind of see what he's saying. And the second time through of listening to it, second time, third time, fourth time, you can hear the emotion in his voice. And it's just outstanding. I love it. But enough about his channel. This, I absolutely loved. It was really fun to read, actually. I didn't think that um, the downsides would be fun to read, but I found myself laughing because he he said the fun or the sad emotions in a way that was hilarious and he kind of joked about it not like a hey, this is so funny i don't actually have this but i'm just gonna pretend like he actually had these emotions and these feelings and he joked about it because he knew he was being ridiculous like anxiety you know you're being ridiculous with what you're saying but you can't control it your mind just won't let you do anything about it and he kind of laughs about it he's He's like, why? Why is this a thing? And then he's also talking about how he was called, an old, had an old soul, and he was like freaking out about it. He's like, I don't want to be old. And he was laughing at himself about that, which I actually loved, and I love his personality. I've been with him before he even came out, so. Ugh. I recommend this. I gave this five out of five stars on Goodreads, which usually by this point, I finished this like five hours ago something like that usually at that point I'm like okay I rated too generously like ish it, mm, does it deserve a five this deserves a five it didn't grab my emotions but I definitely read it again and he had a good message in it so I mean I definitely recommend this book I think it was fantastic and I think everyone kind of needs to read this but I got asked recently as in like 30 minutes ago by a friend who watches my videos to kind of tell you guys what I'm planning to read next which I was like okay sure and I've already started reading this book so I can kind of give you an idea of whether I'll like it or not and this book is Paper Covers Rock by Jenny Hubbard I'm liking it so far I really am um, I am on page 37 it's a short read it's a really short read but I 
I have been liking it. I've been drawn to it. I just wanted to finish that book, so I haven't really been reaching for this one. But this, if you can't remember from my TBR, or because I have a little bit more knowledge about what the book is, this is about a boy named Alex. Yep. Seven, 16? 17? Oh god. 16 year old boy named Alex, who is going to this boarding school. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but he's going to this all boys boarding school. And he went out with his friends one night over to the cliff by the river, over by his boarding school, and his best friend got drunk and died. Died in the river that day. And there's this whole investigation going on about his death, but they're not going to say anything about it because it could get them in trouble too. On top of that, I'm also really behind in my Harry Potter reading, or readathon, so I'm going to try to read two of the books by July 1st. I don't know why I screwed myself over, but I guess it happens. And on top of that, I'm also reading The Little Prince on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of rambly, um, but it's literally me talking. So, and I also hope you like this setup, and I hope you like the fact that my camera is finally in focus. Oh my god. <laughs> but, um, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and press the thumbs up button to tell me that you guys want some more. And if you want to see more videos, as well as all of my other videos, I do beauty, I do, I started doing book stuff, obviously according to the title of this, um, and I mean I do anything I want to do. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and press that subscribe button because then you can see more of my videos in your subscription box and keep up with my videos. Also if you have any book recommendations, any books you want me to review, or anything you want me to review, talk about, anything, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I will read them and talk to you about them. But other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!